Hi everyone, welcome to QA Stack. This is a channel for all the testers and people who want to learn software testing. Today we are going to see what is backend testing in one go. So without further ado, let's begin. Now what is backend testing? A software application can be broadly categorized into two parts. First one being the backend. Backend you can understand as the code where all the business logic resides, where you find server, database, and all the other infrastructure. In short, you could consider backend is similar to the internal organs of your body. Now, second part is, of course, the front end, the UI, the look and feel of the application. For example, if you use an app, so the app, what you see, its icons, everything, this is part of UI. So now back end and front end, they interact um, within each other via services or APIs. So this is uh, the kind an application as a whole consists of. Now, why? So why do we prefer backend testing over normal testing? First, it saves time. Backend testing can be started without waiting for the UI to get ready. Because in backend testing, we do not test on any application or browser or app. We test directly the services which are going to be developed. Also, the bugs identified in backend testing are easier to fix as they are identified very early in the software development life cycle. Second one, it's cost effective. Like I said, the bug detection is earlier in software development and hence the cost of fixing the bugs is also less. Now, last but not the least, it has another significant advantage in terms of automation testing. Backend test automation scripts take less time, far less time in executing than their counterpart UI test scripts. So what I mean by this is that if you run a flow via UI automation test script from a, through a browser, let's say, that script is going to take 10 times approximately, it's just a approx, 10 times more execution time than if you will execute the same flow via only backend services by means of APIs and service calls. So that is why it's faster, it saves time, it saves cost. All these benefits are making backend testing very, very popular these days. Now, there are certain drawbacks as well of backend testing. One, it requires skilled resources because you cannot start the backend testing from day one. You need to have the knowledge of application architecture and also the communication protocols used between the services to communicate among each other. Hence, for backend testing, a certain knowledge is required before starting the backend testing. Now, second is additional infrastructure. When it comes to backend testing, as we are shifting left, so while backend testing, it happens that sometimes certain services are not available or they are chargeable. So we might have to replace them with stubs. And this stubs or mock services, they require additional softwares for example mockito or via mock etc so hence if we choose backend testing we might have to put some additional efforts in handling these stubs and mocks in case the app the services are unavailable so this was all about backend testing in short which is required for you to know if you want to learn more about the backend testing I have given the links down below. You may check out those links which have step-by-step -step guidance how you can start backend testing from scratch. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Stay happy and stay healthy.